I am whipped. I just got done with an intensive three days uh, on witness prep with a trial team where the witness, the plaintiff, was initially hell-bent, hell-bent on being stuck in the victim trap. And by day three, we got him to a lot more joy. And a lot more joy for this guy was a little bit more joy. And a little bit more joy went a long way. And just getting this dude to literally being able to give like a half smile. I mean, like he, 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 it looked like the side of his face when he, when he eventually got to joy, authentic joy, uh, was was like lifting a thousand pound sandbag on his lips. Like, like it, the, 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 the physical act of smiling and feeling joy because he had cast himself so painfully in the wrong role, the role that he believed, that he believed the jurors needed to see him as, the victim, until he began to really buy into the concept and, and literally understand why being the victim up there would kill his case. And that's what got him in the door initially. But then the joy, the authentic joy came with allowing himself to feel the joy that was still under his roof, that was still present. And the takeaway from me is not just the power of the victor story, but sometimes, sometimes, maybe you just got to let your client be them themselves, or at least the understanding of, of who they think they're supposed to be up there. Let them wear the mask. Because the truth is, is that beneath this guy's rage was an enormous amount of sadness where he couldn't, literally could not stop crying. And this is a brain injury case. And ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you're either gonna believe this is TBI or this is bullshit. And, then, and you're polarizing right there the minute you put your client on. And as long as we are able to see what is behind the mask from the people who know him and love him, um, who are the true experts in seeing who he is like before and who he's like now, if as long as you can get your client, as long as we can get this guy to a little bit more joy, a little bit more joy, a little goes a long way so that we could see that despite the pain, despite the horror show, despite the challenges and the struggles of living with a profound brain injury and not being able to do the work that fulfilled him so much before, he could still smile because that was one of his mom's greatest wishes magic wand waved. I asked mom, what would you like for your son? I just want to see him smile again. I just want to see him smile again. And the fact that he can give a little bit goes a long way. Trusting in the power of the victor story may not be the rainbows and unicorn Hollywood. Hey, Rocky, all of a sudden he's smiling with joy. You may not ever get there, but a little goes a long way.